Hey guys, I'm Zach from Motocrane, and in this video we're going to walk through the Ultra Isolator and the new SRB, as well as the bundles we put together that include both of these components. Now, I want to start by talking about the Ultra Isolator and kind of the backstory and the design history. So in 2018, when we were developing Motocrane Ultra, which is our 12-foot universal remote arm, we needed a passive suspension or isoelastic arm at the end that would be handling all the Z-axis bumps that you need when you're shooting on and off-road, as well as dampen pitch and roll axes for allowing the gimbal uh, to be passively dampened. Um, and there really wasn't an option that was just an off-the-shelf solution that checked all of our boxes, which was it needed to be lightweight, it needed to be simple, and it needed to be portable. So the result is the Ultra Isolator, and I want to kind of walk through each of the features that contribute to it checking all those boxes. Now, instead of using kind of traditional heavy, clunky speed rail clamps for mounting this, uh, we developed our own proprietary three-bolt pattern. Uh, and again, this keeps weight down. Um, it also has this uh, little clip at the top, uh, which is kind of a safety and convenience for when you're mounting it up. Uh, traditionally, this would be used for uh, mounting the end of Ultra, but now with the SRB, we're gonna be talking about how you can use it on speed rail rigging. Um, another unique part of the Ultra Isolator is that we're using an air shock in compression instead of uh, big steel springs in tension. Again, this keeps weight way down, um, and it also makes it really easy to adjust. You just add or subtract pressure from a main valve using a standard bike pump. Um, now all the ultra isolators that we're going to be building uh, specifically for the bundles are going to be equipped with our heavy lift upgrade kit, which makes this rated for 65 pounds of payload capacity. Um, current ultra owners are actually going to be able to buy just the heavy lift uh, components for upgrading their ultra isolator when using the SRB, so that's a nice plus. Um, and then as we move forward here, uh, you have kind of a familiar dampened pitch and roll axes uh, for, again, allowing the gimbal or the three-axis stabilized head um, to sway and move in a dampened fashion versus being rigidly locked in place. Um, so you have dual dampers for both the pitch and the roll axes, all matte black matching. Um, and then underneath, we have what we call the head adapter. And there's a variety of bolt patterns on the head adapter. Um, this is very similar to like the Flocini cheese plate. Um, and one of the reasons that we have a multitude of uh, bolt patterns on here is easy integration with all the various stabilized heads. Um, we're a Flocini dealer and we love Flocini anti-vibration mounts and so this bolts up with all the Flocini products um, like the tranquilizer which we use all the time. Um, and then again you have free fly toad in the hole, um, you have a center 3A16, um, there's lots of different bolt patterns here. So you can have multiples of these plates on different payloads and it's easy to swap those in and out. And you just drop that in on the end. I'm going to throw a safety pin in there, and then you just mount it up with four M6 bolts. I'm only going to put in one right now. So again, high level ultra isolator. It weighs 12.3 pounds. It's rated for 65 pounds. Um, I'll kind of put it in storage mode just so you can see how compact and portable it gets. So it lays flat. And again, this is really nice for the flight case bundle that we have, or the essentials bundle, which includes a flight case. Um, and it's just a really nice unit. Um, we're really happy to see all the great work that's been achieved with the Ultra Isolator. And now with the SRB, uh, we're really excited at the prospect of, of more productions being able to benefit from the Ultra Isolator's design. So moving right along, uh, this is the SRB or the Speed Rail Rigging Block. Uh, this is machined from a single billet of 6061 aluminum. So it's really light and it's really strong. And on the front, you'll see that bolt pattern that we were talking about earlier. And uh, if I show you really quickly here, this is how that would mount up. And then you'd install your three M12 bolts. Everything on Ultra is M12 uh, that, we can, that we can possibly design in. There are some things that are like M6, uh, but everything's M12, including these uh, three fasteners here. Um, and then on the back side, we have two different bolt patterns. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We have two different bolt patterns on the SRB for mounting this to single or dual speed rail setups. Um, for a lot of the work that we're doing, high speed, cornering, chase car stuff, uh, we really prefer the dual rail setups for the robustness and the rigidity um, that's inherent to that. 
Um, also, when you're using dual rail, the SRB actually becomes kind of a, a strengthening agent or becomes a member of the rigging, so that's really nice. And it also includes the hardware here for mounting the included clamps. So we include four TUV certified speed rail clamps for one and a half inch speed rail. And you can see that there is a slot that these drop into and that's for anti-rotation. So once you have these in place, you know, they can't rotate or skew. So now that we've talked about the ultra isolator and the SRB, let's take a look at the essentials bundle, which includes both of these components, a flight case, and then also some rigging essentials that make your job and your life a lot easier when you're using these on set. So at Motocrane, again, so much of what we do is around the practical use of these tools, things being simple, lightweight, and portable. And so the Rigging Essentials Bundle is kind of a, a practical envelope that allows for the most convenient use of these things by including all the important peripherals that you're going to be using regularly with the Ultra Isolator and the SRB. So the first thing is, of course, our SKB flight case with custom foam inserts for the Ultra Isolator and the SRB. The SRB cutout has space for the four one and a half inch speed rail clamps to be installed, uh, whether you're in the dual or single rail configuration, so you don't have to like break it down when you're putting it away. It can just stay in its whatever configuration it's in. Um, we also have a cutout here for uh, tools, hardware, and then also some speed rail starters. Um, so we have our hardware, which includes uh, spares here. Uh, we have an open and closed 19 millimeter wrench uh, for the uh, speed rail clamps. We also have a ratchet with a 19 millimeter deep socket as well for those same speed rail clamps. Um, we have a hex key set, which is uh, used for the M12 hex bolts that attach the ultra isolator to the SRB, and then also some others if you're gonna do maintenance on the ultra isolator. We have an air shock pump, which again is used for adjusting the pressure inside the air shock, whether you're using a 65 or a 45 or 50 pound payload or whatever. Um, that's done by just using this air shock to increase or decrease the pressure. And then we have a couple of speed rail starters, which again are super useful if you're using a, a tow hook or a speed rail starter um, to mount the ultra isolator and SRB universally. So we include a couple of those. Now, the other important components that are included are four adjustable one and a half inch speed rail clamps. And these are super useful when you're achieving the inherently bizarre geometry that's gonna be on every vehicle when you're trying to triangulate the load uh, to either a front tow hook or to a rear hitch receiver. Um, so we find that we're using these all the time, so that's why they're included in these as well. These are also TUV certified. Uh, they're rated for 500 kilos of working load, um, so they're more than enough for this application. So the Essentials Bundle is great for the Ultra Isolator as well as the SRB and includes all the convenient peripherals that you're going to use every time you're using these two pieces of equipment. But what about the rigging itself? So in addition to the Essentials Bundle, we've also put together the Ultimate Bundle, which includes the Essentials Bundle, but it pairs it with the SSG or Speed Rail Suction Grid Kit. Now, if you don't know about the SSG kit, this is what our customers are currently using to put Moto Crane Ultra, our fully loaded 300 pound remote arm on almost any vehicle in the world. And how it works is it includes four nine inch suction cups with some custom clamps um, onto the steel hardware of the cup itself. And again, you're gonna see that same one and a half inch speed rail clamp used on the SRB and this articulates around the handle, and this gives you a solid point at each of the corners of the grid to fix to the roof. Now, once you have the grid built using the four suction cups, we also provide two 2,000 pound rated ratchets uh, for securing the grid through the cabin of the vehicle, and that provides positive interference so that you're never relying on suction alone. Um, the ratchets actually do a lot of the heavy lifting and it helps put the load uh, through the roof rails of the vehicle and not through the roof skin, which is much more flexible. In addition to the four suction cups and the two ratchet straps, we also include four fixed 90 degree speed rail clamps, again for one and a half inch speed rail. And we worked with the manufacturer to place this big fat bead along the perimeter of these so that they're built for cantilever load, uh, which are really useful in a lot of rigging applications. So for us, we use these uh, primarily for building our dual rail setups that you've seen on the A7 and the Tiguan, where we're going from a single piece of speed rail that's laying flat to two vertical rails for rigging the SRB. So 
Now that we've seen all the components, the Essentials Bundle as well as the Ultimate Bundle, let's see how our Audi A7, which has no rigging modifications whatsoever, is using the Ultimate Bundle practically. So as you can see behind me, we're using the Ultimate Bundle to transform this Audi A7 into a camera car without any modifications to the car whatsoever. We're using the SSG kit and the four 9-inch cups up on the roof and the four 90-degree speed rail clamps to create that really strong suction grid, and that's being uh, sucked down to the roof skin of the car. And then the two ratchets are providing that positive interference on the front and rear through the cabin, so you're never relying on the suction alone. Now, in this application where we're shooting off the front of the vehicle, the SSG is providing a really strong anchor point for the speed rail running forward uh, to the front tow hook of the car. And just as easily, you could run those two rails rearward uh, to, say, a hitch receiver or something else on the rear of the vehicle uh, for providing that vertical rail to the SRB and to the Ultra Isolator. So now that we have the SRB and the Ultra Isolator set up in kind of a real-world scenario, I want to talk about some of the features and how you might make adjustments for your application. Now on the A7 here, we're using the front tow hook to provide dual vertical rail up to the SRB. Uh, if you're doing like a lower speed or a less rigorous shoot, you might just run single rail and that could be totally fine. Um, off the SRB, we have our ultra isolator and of course we've adjusted the air pressure in the air shock using the Schrader valve at the back of it and the provided bike pump so that it's sitting at that proper 15 degree slope. And that's kind of the neutral or midpoint for the Z-axis travel. Now also at the back of the air shock is the adjustable rebound or damping for the Z-axis and that goes from fast to slow. Um, for most of the high speed work that we're doing, we have that adjusted pretty fast, and that's going to give us a faster frequency response for the arm to kind of take some of that chatter of the tarmac away. Um, if we're shooting off-road, we're going to adjust that a little bit slower, and that's going to make sure that our Z-axis travel is slow enough that it's not going to bottom out the isolator. Now moving forward, we have our pitch and our roll dampers, which are adjustable as well based on the payload. Um, you can see here I have this so that it's a little bit under damped, and if I properly configure them, I'm going to get the lens to settle at a nice midpoint. And underneath the isolator, we have the Flocini tranquilizer, which is kind of our anti-vibration mount of choice. But again, the head adapter is compatible and has lots of bolt patterns for lots of different anti-vibration mounts. So depending on the stabilized head that you're using and for the application, um, you can use your anti-vibration mount of choice. So if you have any questions about the Ultra Isolator, the SRB, the Essentials Bundle, or the Ultimate Bundle, make sure you get in touch. We'd love to answer any questions you have. Thanks.